hey guys welcome to millionaire by 25 how are you guys doing hope you're making money for yourself for those of you who don't know how to edit videos to put on your youtube channel don't forget that in the last video course i showed you guys a free video editing software that you guys can download absolutely free for both windows and mac in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use that video editor, which I called the Heat Film Express. How to use the Heat Film Express to make your videos. And that's what we are going to be covering on this video course. Now, we are also going to be covering how to first of all do basic editing. But first of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. The video course will start right after the intro. Welcome back. So like I said, I'm going to be showing you first of all basic editing, then I'm going to be showing you how to add and remove watermark. Then I'm also going to be showing you how to edit to avoid visual ID matches and then how to edit to avoid audio ID matches. And that is where the system, the YouTube system automatically copyrights strikes your video for having the same exact audio or the same exact video within your videos and the only reason i'm going to be showing you guys how to avoid this is because you guys are going to be following the guidelines of fair use and it is unfair for them to then claim your video even though you're following the guidelines of fair use so i'm going to be showing you guys how to avoid that and then i'm going to show you something that i like to call the 13 seconds rule you guys are going to be getting tons of values from this, especially if you want to learn how to edit videos to avoid visual ID. And what's especially cool about this is that it is using a completely free video editing for this. If you guys already have a video editor such as Adobe Premiere Pro or something like that, uh, a paid video editor, you can use all the tactics I'm going to be showing you in that as well. The actual nitty gritty technical details on how to do things might be a little bit different, but typically I've used a lot of editing programs. This video you're watching currently is edited with the Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'll also be showing you a comparison between the Heat Film Express and the premiere pro uh, the the differences are not really much okay their interface is almost similar well to some degree unlike uh that of filmora but there are also ways you can get some of these softwares without paying uh if you go to uh www.getintopc.com you can go down there and download the adobe premiere pro just type adobe premiere pro cc 2013 if it's 2013 2014 2015 2016 depends on the capacity of your system and uh, when you are downloading don't also forget to download a video tutorial that's how to download you you always see here how to download you click and you download the video on how to download and you can also download the software now, one thing you see, the how to download gives you a heads up. It's a video on how you can install this software in a way that it doesn't tell you it's a trial version. And one thing I know is you have to turn off your uh, internet. You have to turn off your Windows Defender. But first of all, always turn off your internet before turning off your Windows Defender so you don't get attacked by ransomware that's it's it's bad it's very bad so when you turn off your internet you turn off your windows defender turn off all antivirus everything antivirus in your system turn them off and then you can now unpack that is when you unzip the premiere pro file if you're installing any zipped file that is a cracked version okay you unzip and then follow the processes on the video how to install and install the premiere pro for yourself okay and uh but for the free uh, version heat film express you don't need to go through all that all you need to do is just go install the heat film is completely free but they have their uh 
they have a paid version too, a premium version, which you can upgrade to and have access to other features. But even if you don't, you still have, uh, you can still use the heat film for free to do some of these basic things that I am going to be showing you. So once you have the heat film downloaded, you can just open a new project and then it looks like this. I just recommend you keeping all the settings as they are. You can use the 1080p, which is a full HD, 25 frames per second. And that's typically fine. Perfect. And then we just start editing. So I'll be going straight up to the interface on how to do all the things that I have mentioned here, which is one, the basic editing, and then which is two, how to add and remove watermark and then three editing to avoid visual id matches and audio id matches so this is the interface of the heat film yeah i told you of the upgrade version but if you don't want to use the upgrade version or well, fine you can just come here to create new this is how the interface looks like uh you can leave this at 1080p full frame there are other options here okay and just leave it at the 25 leave every other thing here it's 1920 over 1080 um 25 frame sequence you know and then you can okay all right it will load so here i will be showing you basic video editing and cutting now this is the interface this is what you see here is your preview screen this is where you have all your uh footages so sometimes it might be on here on this place here the options could be effects or i don't know could be anywhere or you can use this icon here to move you can come down here to move 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 so you come down here to media so if you double tap on this space you have your pop-up and you can now decide to choose which of the footage you want to uh, edit. So let us take, for instance, um, I'm looking out for clips that I want to edit. Let me try this. So let's say we want to use one of our courses. We want to use it, for instance, this free editing software. That was one of our course last time. If you double tap on it, or it's already here though, you can shift, you see, you can move. If you press I on your keyboard, it marks in. You can move to wherever you want. Drag this icon. If you press O, it marks here and here. So I for in, O for out. And if you click on the screen and you drag down, you copy both the audio and the video. Okay, if you come here, once you take your mouse on the screen, you have this pop-up, use video. You can drag only video. Okay, and if you come here, you can drag only audio. You can see. So you can use whichever one you like. And you can see put in videos on top of another video if you drag it on top. Ctrl Z is undo. Now, um, space bar. Trust me, is to play. you space bar is to stop. Now that is because I am here. So whatever is here pops up here. Okay, this is the final display of everything I'm doing here. This is my timeline where I drop my sequence so you can see and this is a preview for this but if I want to work on this if I double tap on this I can decide to see I'm working on this if I double tap here or tap here I'm working here okay so now this is more like the basic cutting if you want to uh, export 
All you need to do is come here, click on export. Now, sometimes when you open your heat film for the first time, this is what will appear. So you'll be having issues viewing everything that is supposed to be here. That's viewing what you have here, here. So you have to come here to viewer. Okay. So if you want to export, you come down here and you can drag this into here and then start exporting or you can highlight all you can control a and drag all into here but that's not what we want to do and uh, you can right click and remove task yes okay and uh, you can also come here and just click on export and then to file frame export now and the likes of it and you can put your file location and address. So let us take a look at this. Export. Here, if you tap on here, your file location, where you want it to be. You want it to go to desktop. You want it to export to desktop. You put your file location. And here is an option here. When you click here, you now want to change to where you feel like. Um, sorry, to the presets you want, do you want to export it to uh, 1080p HD Vimeo or to Apple ProRes 44444 Alpha? You have to choose what you want to do or if it's the PNG sequence, whichever one, but we're leaving it at the 1080p, alright? And then you can also, um, I think that's it basically. And then you click on start exporting and then it starts exporting but we want to remove this we don't want to use this okay i'm just showing you an example so we we'll go back to viewer so the next thing i want to show you is how to add and remove watermarks now you can create your own watermark using canva pixel or using your own logo if you already have one okay so let us assume that um let us just get something as a sample of a watermark um let's uh go to a folder let's look for something let's go to doc so let us imagine that um let's imagine Let's imagine that uh, I'm trying to, okay, let me get, I want to get an image. Let me imagine that this is my watermark. All right. So let's also take for instance that uh, this is a watermark. This subscribe is a watermark. And I want to cover it all up. Okay. I get, I get a video that has a watermark and I want to cover it. So I can use, I can move where it pops up and I can decide to drag this up, see to the beginning and uh, move one step. Okay, this is where it's uh, coming up. All right, so I can resize. I can bring down and I can resize it to what I want, how I want it to be. I know it's it's quite a big. Um, so it came out big. So let's play. How space bar. So I can decide to just expand it like this and bring it somewhere down so i can have this you some that will help you and don't forget to like subscribe click on the see. notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video so the video course will see that you've covered that here okay so let us assume that there is a watermark somewhere around here or here or here all you just need to do is get all you can even copy another let's uh, say you want to drop a watermark somewhere around here so you can make sure that this touches 
and gives you that blue you can now shape it into the size and this is left right left right when you hold this axis you hold this axis to go up but when you just hold the body normally you can move it to any direction here or here if that is where it is i'm talking about the watermark of the image you can also put yours even if there's no watermark so that's how to do that then another method is this let us imagine that there is a watermark here. All you need to do is scale. You can scale, come here and scale in to cover up what you have there. And at the end of the day, when you you would love this one. I know a lot of people have issues with finding the bear. Okay, so that's just how to do. You can scale in. Let's take for instance this. I want to scale in to so come here and okay and I can decide to scale this away and I subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video the video course will start so you can see that that like subscribe is no more there so that's how to um, remove watermark or cover up a watermark in a video that you are using. Now, we would like to look at how to edit to avoid visual match IDs. Now, one thing you need to know is visual match IDs are what the, the YouTube AI uses to identify the similarity in a video that you have copied. You can change the color so let's give it a little tweak you come down here to effects and you want to use an effect like a big net big n e t t e the big net that's color grading uh we yeah, have used it of recent that's why and you have the big net of 1080p that's because this is a 1080p don't forget it was 1080p we used and this is for uh, 720 so you pick this and you drop in this uh, you can't drop it on the audio has to drop on the video and you there's something that has happened you can only observe it let's undo you can see I don't know if you observe that let's go straight again let's do it ignite drop you see it changes the mode the color a bit and it takes you automatically to control so you can control the width of it the height of it you can also control the horizontal stretch you can see you see what's happening just to make it a little bit different and then you can control that of the top so it doesn't look exactly so this can actually create a little bit difference in the video trying to avoid uh, visual ID matches. So you can do that. You can also use some uh, color grading options to change the color, just make it a little bit different. Okay. And just to give it that feel, you can come to blur and uh, you want to use angular blur you know just to of creating that, and setting up a that particular feel so that is how you avoid visual id matches so when you do that or you change the color you add some colors or some greens it will be very hard for the youtube bot to identify your video as a match to where you copied it from now we will be looking at how to edit to avoid audio id matches now i would like to show you how to unlink your audio don't forget this particular one i picked the audio i think there was this one i picked the audio different let's go straight here let's go to media okay i have picked only audio and i have picked video but here let us say we pick audio and video you right click and you can come here to unlink and when you click on unlink 
you have only audio you have only video so you can take off the audio completely by pressing delete on your uh, system or let's undo or you can just come down here and silence the audio so when you do that you can't hear the audio anymore but if you take it up you can hear it notification bell icon to get notified so that's it and um another way is for you to speed up so you go to speed duration and then you can speed it up to maybe 110 and then okay so you have video course will start right after the intro so you can speed it to the extent that you don't need to lose the the main audio quality and yeah you would say but it's no more matching the video let's say you wanted to use the audio so that's why you don't want to delete it you just want to speed it up a bit you can come down here to speed duration for the video and you can see take it to 110 you can type that and you can see that it has welcome back so before we start i'd like to say that if you are looking for the best so that's how to edit to avoid audio id matches all right now another thing i would like to show you here before i move on is um how to add text some of you might be asking you see you have the text here you click on it you click on your screen and you're like let us use the word thank you thank you please subscribe when you press enter it goes down please subscribe now that's not all this is a little bit different from that of the premiere pro i will show you how the premiere pro works uh, just briefly you can come down here to control and do some tweaking but before you do that come down to text you remember i used this 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 and you can you know get other options here but this here where my arrow is and go to text you can change the text to any text of your choice highlights control a for those using windows and uh, you can change to any of your choice you can let's see what happens so you can change and you can use uh you can also increase to whatever you like you can tweak do whatever you want to do around here okay you can put this make it centralized that's um thank you please subscribe or you can just make it you no know, straight all right and then you can when you're done you come here and tap on this this arrow and then you can adjust it to whatever you want if you click on hand you will be shifting everything undo all right so click on the arrow or you can come here click on the arrow not the hand and then you do so okay there was something i forgot to show you how to cut if you want to cut on uh, premiere pro we use ctrl key but i don't think that works here so all you need to do is come here to this razor blade symbol click on the razor blade and you can cut wherever you want to cut out and then you come down here and click and you take away with delete on your system and then you shift to close you get all right so um i was talking about the text this is the text right you can shift it to wherever you want you have to move this so you can view and if you want to change the color you can as well change the color you come down here this is where you change the color 
tap on this white and you can decide to change it to blue okay and that will be it but like i said you have to highlight or you have to click on it to be sure uh for to identify that that's what you're working on okay so you see what's happening here and then you close and that is it so you can explore any of these you can make it bold change from regular to bold and you can just explore any of this place wherever you want so now i would like to show you the 13 second rule and uh, the 13 second rule states that when you use someone's clip in your video make sure you try using it over 13 seconds just 13 seconds okay it will help you avoid running into copyright issues try to use as many images and gifs as possible within your video and uh, not just only one video which you've copied from somewhere it's it will help your video fall under uh fair use on that guideline of fair use and um i would show you guys some free places to find stock images and videos in subsequent video course so don't forget to stay on the channel don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video but um uh, let's take a look at premiere pro let's say you've done you've installed your premiere pro most of the times this app things that I've done, projects I've worked on, you can just click on new, new projects rather than clicking on any of that. And then you can give, let's say sample, sample, and uh, sorry, let me show you a few things there. It would load up, but let's go back. Let's go back to new projects. Okay. Here you can change, you can browse your file location before even clicking okay you can do that here and where you have the memory playback engine gpu acceleration uh, uh cuda it's you it's because the system this is a powerful system it has its own dedicated graphics memory it's a workstation so it uses the dedicated graphics memory but some of you who would not have or who don't have uh, a system with dedicated graphics memory you might end up having only the mercury playback engine so it's just using your your ram okay and nothing else you could just okay all right so now you have this interface this is where you drag in your project you double click and you can go look for what you want let's go um desktop let's go to this folder and uh let's pick this it imports the file into here it will load up from here and then you can double tap and then you can don't forget to like bar, subscribe it press space bar it stops you can use the i click press, on the notification to play or you can drag here and o it marks and then you can drag in here into this timeline or you can drag only video see drag video only or only audio down here these are the similarities you have this arrow you have the hand you have the razor blade but here if you click on this you can just control k and it cuts for you rather than using the razor blade to cut for yourself okay uh another similarity uh is you can right click and you can unlink you can also speed up you want to a lot of the options are there but here you have effects which you can apply some effects i think we should still have dignates here mm. big okay so but there should be other options here there, there are other options which you can use you can come to lumetri and you want to change the texture the color a little bit or you want to use this you know to change it and uh or you don't want to use presets you want to explore blur 
you can decide to explore blur and then here this is where you have the effect control panel and the blurness you can increase the blurness you see are you seeing you know so it's almost the same thing and um if you want to add text here this is 2017 you come here to title come down here title uh, default still and uh, put whatever you want to put and then you can type what you want to type you can use any of this as a sample and just type and say subscribe and you can change the color here if you want to okay um, sorry you have to click on it it has to be highlighted or you even if you're having the arrow you have to tap on the text itself and then impute the color you want and then ok and it clicks on it and when you're done with that you have to drag it on top of here so you have that so um i would have a special time uh probably in one of the video courses i would teach you properly how to use the adobe premiere pro i don't want this video course to be extremely long and if you want to export you can just control m and this is it so all you need to do you're using h.264 match bitrate you can decide to come here and uh, make it uh, 1080 1920 25 frames per second you can use maximum render quality if you want to and then you click on export and that will be it so that's it on this uh, video course on how to edit your video using either the heat film or the adobe premiere pro adobe premiere pro is you uh this this is a complete version um as you would have paid for it but it's a cracked version and i can even use it when my internet is on okay so you can go straight up to getintopc.com and download it for yourself or you can decide to try the heat film the other good softwares out there all right please pardon the background noise i had to take a separate time to uh, teach you on how to use these uh, two softwares just intermittently and uh, I understand that the environment is noisy but uh, the course must go on all right so that's it on this video course don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video the next video course is going to be very productive I promise you you would like it so don't miss it and if you're looking for a comprehensive youtube course a youtube series that will help you assist you on your youtube channel from growing it to monetizing it and making money for yourself all you need to do is go down to the description below and you see a link there on how to get the course and trust me you will be glad you did See you on the next video course.